Hey y'all, it's Colin from hiptosave.com and I don't know about you guys, but I'm very excited that back to school season is in full swing, I have to say. Summer was fun, but it's always nice to get back to the routine, have the kids in school. Anyways, so with that being said, I thought what a great video to do, but to talk about lunchbox savings tips. For me, I don't love being in the kitchen. I'm definitely not one to like sit there all day and make these amazing lunches for my kids, but I definitely like them to bring a lunch from home, I think it's healthier and it's usually less expensive, especially if you're using coupons for the products you're putting in the lunchbox. My biggest, biggest tip, especially if you want to save yourself time, is to prepare everything either on Sunday or pick a day of the week where you're chopping veggies and fruits and getting everything ready. So another thing you may be worried about if you're prepping in advance is are the vegetables gonna get bad or fruit slices gonna look brown? And I know with apples, that's a big thing. I always have that issue. I have found that pineapple juice works awesome and there's really no taste to it. And even if you do get a little bit of taste, it actually tastes really good. These babies have been in my fridge for five days. Look at those. They look beautiful. Who wouldn't want to eat these? It's so easy with all this prep to make your own Lunchables. And first of all, making your own Lunchables is a whole lot, a whole lot healthier. Uh, I don't know if you looked at the ingredients on these or actually felt the meat. Whole Foods also now sells their own kind of Lunchables and they're obviously a lot healthier than these. However, they're super expensive. I mean, this is like $4.99, five bucks. Maybe it goes on sale, but still, all it is is cheese, grapes, crackers, and meat. Super, super easy to make on your own. So here's the best container I have found that works well, is these Rubbermaid lunch blocks. What's really cool too about these is lately they've been coming with $10 worth of coupons, which is awesome, and a lot of these are lunchbox related coupons. And then with all your food prepped, you literally take these containers and just fill them up with goodies. Um, I've got crackers here, and a lot of these, you know, have coupons available for them. I've got cookies to do their little treat, juice boxes. And then another tip I have too, because my kids love like little chocolates, is I found if you wait till these go on clearance, which they do after most of the holidays, you put like one little chocolate in their lunch, and what they, my kids love is they love seeing the little surprise they get. And as I'm filling my lunch box, another thing to keep in mind is don't think that everything needs to be heated. We had corn last night, so I'm using some corn to put in their lunchbox, and I'm sorry, cold corn is really good. My kids really like it. All right, and so another thing is, I know it's so much fun to leave your kids little messages on their lunchbox. Now, I know some parents get super creative, and I give you props, but that's just not me. But something really, really simple to do is just get like little sticky labels and put them on their juice boxes or whatever you know products you have in their lunch. Just put a simple message. I think it's fun because sometimes you can put it in different spots and then they find it, and it's just a cute way to let them know that you're thinking of them at school. Another awesome lunchbox idea that's super easy, super cost effective, is making your own basically Smucker's Uncrustables. So all you do is you stack up your bread, you take your cup, and you're gonna kind of, you know, make sure that the crust is out of it, and then press down, and then you've got basically your sandwich outline. And also, this is just one way to do it by cutting it first. You can actually make the sandwich first and then it kind of seals it in there. But the reason why I'm showing you this is because, you know, I try to reuse the stuff I have and if you have peanut butter and jelly on this, it's not very, you know, obviously there's nothing, not much to do except for eat it. So I'm gonna actually use all this for breadcrumbs and that sort of thing. I do peanut butter on both sides of the bread. I have heard that, you know, if you do peanut butter on one and jelly on the other, the jelly can typically make the bread a bit soggy. I literally do like a little spoonful of jelly right in the center. And then what's fun is you can take a fork to really give it that appearance of a Smucker's Uncrustable. Look how cute that is. All right, so what is so great about these two is you can totally freeze these. In fact, I have some in the freezer right now. And all you do is the night before, your kids, you know, want one of these for lunch. You take two out, put them in the fridge overnight, and they are ready to go in the morning in their lunches. All right, so for my final lunchbox savings tip, 
it would be about these squeezable yogurts. If your kids like these, these are so great for school lunches. However, you're probably thinking, ew, these are gonna go bad. They're gonna, you know, they're lunchbox for half the day and they're a dairy product. You just plop them in your freezer in the box. And when they want one, you take it out in the morning. So you don't take it out the night before, but in the morning, you plop it in frozen in their lunch box. And what's cool too is they kind of keep everything else cool as well. And then by lunchtime, they're ready to be eaten and they're still cold. So to wrap it up, I hope you guys, you know, kind of got some money saving and time saving tips. I'm definitely, like I said, I'm not one to sit in my kitchen all day and make lunches. So that's why I wanted to give you tips that, you know, anyone can do. As long as you just give yourself some time at the beginning of the week to prepare, you can have healthy lunches all week long that are super, super easy to make and super fun for the kids to enjoy. That's a good apple.